welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be searching for trail makers creations in the scrap mechanic workshop now recently i searched for scrap mechanic creations in the trail makers workshop and that turned out very strange oh look at the active arrow on the uh on the spoiler oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this thing is in the ground. Oh, no. So let's see uh, what the Scrap Mechanic Workshop has to offer as far as trail makers search terms. All right, here we are in the Scrap Mechanic Workshop, and I'm typing in trail makers, and uh, let's just see what shows up. Oh, no, there's only two pages. Um, <laughs> there was like 80 pages in the trail makers workshop for Scrap Mechanic creations. Apparently, a lot of Scrap Mechanic players play trail makers, but not a lot of trail makers players play Scrap Mechanic. So, uh, I, I always got to subscribe to the very first one just because you're the first one to show up. Congratulations. I don't know if this has anything to do with Trailmakers, but the name is literally Trailmaker. Um, so this is interesting. This is actually a Trailmaker block dropper. So this has nothing to do with the game Trailmakers, but it actually makes a trail. All right, so this is called the Trailmakers Dragster. If you tell me you made a fast dragster in Trailmakers that isn't a stick of jets or engines, you're lying to me. That That is, uh, this person knows Trailmakers. Okay, let's definitely do that. This is a Trailmakers seat. That's actually very Trailmakers themed. So I replicated a mini thruster. Oh, I, I just remembered. I don't know if I have mods installed for these. I don't know if any of these use mods, but hopefully not. So I replicated one of my Trailmakers Beyblades. Okay, we definitely got to try that. It looks like this is a replica of one of the super basic like tutorial builds in Trailmakers. Oh, someone replicated Buster, which uh, debuted in Trailmakers. Ooh, a Spud Gun VTOL inspired by a uh, Cannon VTOL that I've made in Trailmakers. Let's give that a try. Strand Beast Framework, something that I, I tried to make a Strand Beast in Trailmakers. This person tried to make it in Trailmakers, but couldn't do it. So they came over to Scrap Mechanic instead. Oh, no way. Someone replicated the Suspension Catapult. Oh, I tried to make this weird Suspension Catapult thing in Trailmakers, and that turned into quite the experiment. All right, here we go. <laughs> we pull ourselves down and launch. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. I'm curious to see how it works in uh, Scrap Mechanic now. All right, ooh, another Strand Beast thing. Okay, so we have a Strand Beast framework and a Strand Beast. All right, well, I think that's a good foundation of stuff to experiment with, so let's see what these creations are all about. All right, starting off with the very first one, The Trail Maker by Vergontor. All right, why is this thing called a Trail Maker? Does it leave a trail? Does it, does it, does it do any, what do you, okay, I can turn. I think it has suspension glitch turning. Why is this called a Trail Maker? What is this? I'm so confused. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. I don't understand. Hold on. Something... There's something happening in here. When I press a button... Why does the button do that? That's just... One of the buttons just makes this piston go crazy. It's like a, it's like a self-jackhammer machine. Is it just to make the sound? All right. Well, uh, we're off to a great start. <laughs> Does this bring you back to, uh, does this make you feel like you're in Trail Makers now? I'm not feeling it quite yet. Let's see if these other creations will get me there. All right, so this is the Trail Maker Block Dropper by Znidal. Over-engineered and unnecessarily complicated, apparently. Um, what do I, what do I do? Oh, apparently I stand here. Green means go. Okay, now what, yellow? Oh. What is that? Okay, and then red, I assume, maybe starts the dropping? What's happening? This is actually interesting. So what is, hold on. There's so much to look at here. What is this? Oh, this, that's so cool. So this is a mechanism that essentially moves this in and out. Really unnecessarily complicated. You could just use a piston that goes in and out, but instead you build this crazy like ratchet system almost and that makes the blood is there like a there here's a window i can watch the, through this window so oh it's getting laggy so yeah that's supposed to push the blocks out and let them drop down but it's getting real laggy it's really slow too okay hold on you know i feel like i can move the speed up just a little bit here's the engines oh oh this one's for the uh for the piston thing all right there we go now you're going a little bit faster all right they get all bunched up though but you know what? There's actually a second version of this that's supposed to be a little bit more efficient. So let me uh, go ahead and clear the world here. And now we have the Trailmaker Block Dropper High Flow. So this one, obviously more compact. Did you just do a piston? Is that, did you finally just convert it to a piston instead of doing the overly complicated stuff? All right, two buttons this time. Now what's gonna happen? Oh boy. Well, things definitely seem to be just dropping down a lot faster, that's for sure. I don't really, oh, we can watch from this direction now. Um, so it looks like we just 
just have a vacuum pump just feeding blocks out of here. You can see one block at a time. Um, wait, no, there's two blocks being fed out. There's a cardboard block that goes first. Oh, interesting. Cardboard block goes down, then tile block goes onto the cardboard block, then the spud gun shoots the cardboard block, detaching the tile block, letting it fall down, and this thing creates a much more solid and consistent trail. Even, like, just hearing it go, you can hear it's going so much more consistently. So that's pretty cool. We have a trail maker. Not technically related to the game trail makers, but, uh, hey, it searched, it showed up when we searched the term trail makers, and that's the only requirement for this video, so. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, up next, we have the trail makers dragster by Serial Yokai, and, uh, this is pretty much, if you want to make a dragster, if you want to make something that breaks the sound barrier in trail makers, it's pretty much gonna look like this, and I guess this is, uh, this is the scrap mechanic version, and it has steering. Why does it even have steering? Like, we're even gonna be able to do anything with the steering. All right, let's see if we can break the sound barrier. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh. Ow! I am actually surprised I did not glitch into that. Okay, you know, you gotta watch my character, though. All right, let's uh, head into this forest over here. All right, watch my character. Ready? <laughs> Ow! Okay, uh, I don't think I'm getting out of here. Oh, okay. Up to the skybox we go. Or back down to the ground we go. Over to the skybox side we go. Okay, we're, we just bounce. We just bounce. All right, and back to the middle. Perfect, perfect. This actually turned out to be a lot more manageable than I expected it to be. But yeah, if this was, uh, if we had a speed limit here and uh, a sound barrier to break, I think we would have broken it with that creation. That is the most Trailmakers creation so far. However, we do have a straight up Trailmakers seat by JT SoCal. Bring Trailmakers to Scrap Mechanic. That's literally the point of this video. Look at this, I'm in Trailmakers. I mean, it doesn't really do much, but I guess you could attach it to, or you could build off of it as a Trailmakers seat and uh, feel like you're building with Trailmakers parts. Speaking of, here is a Trailmakers vehicle that also has a Trailmakers uh, seat replica by Vinokismat. <laughs> Vino Keys Matt. I don't know how to pronounce these names. Um, so look at the the difference between these. Two. Wait, is this the same? This looks like it actually is the same build. Okay, hold on. I think this person may have actually used this seat as the starting point. I thought they built their own, but no, it looks like it is the exact same one, except this one has holes in the top instead of just painted blocks in the top. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, what what is this? <gasps> This is actually amazing. This is the best part of this vehicle. This is a replica of the, um, I think the Bulldog engine in Trailmakers. And it is actually a really complex and good replica that happens to contain both the regular engine and the electric engine in Scrap Mechanic. That is such a good looking replica though. All right, let's drive it around and see how it feels. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, off to a great start. I shouldn't have left my lift there. All right, wait, does this thing have steering? Oh, it does have steering. There we go. And, oh, you know what? Now we can see, if you guys didn't see the Trail Makers video where I searched Scrap Mechanic, there was a creation, <laughs> there was a creation in that video that replicated um, trail, or that replicated Scrap Mechanic bouncing physics or the drive driving physics and how the ground just bounces you up sometimes. And now we can actually see that in action in Scrap Mechanic um, in comparison to the Trailmakers replica. And you can see it's actually, it's still pretty bad in Scrap Mechanic when you don't have suspension like this vehicle. But um, I think it was worse in Trailmakers, but that was actually kind of cool. All right, so yeah, that was a great replica. The engine, the engine is actually what made this amazing. That was the best part of this replica here and probably where the most work went into as well. Oh no, I don't have the mods installed for the Beyblade, so I cannot, uh, spawn in the Beyblade, unfortunately. So we're going to move on to uh, the Buster. Scrapman Buster by Dakotard1984. And I don't know. I don't think it actually does any. Well, there's a switch. Let's see what it does. Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to like do a handspring or something? Wow. So athletic, Buster. You're just, you've always been the most athletic and uh, adventurous robot or test dummy there was. All right, uh, good job. You do you do better in, tr in Trail Makers, I gotta admit. You do better in Trail Makers, Buster. We'll keep you over there. All right, so then up next, we have the Spud Gun VTOL by Plushy Games. I think I've made a Spud Gun. Oh, failed to build shape. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know what about this. None of this looks modded to me, except for the fact that these switches don't appear to actually be attached to anything. So there must be modded pieces here, unfortunately. Oh, it uses the mod pack. All right, you know what? Let me go enable the mod pack really quick so I can spawn these in. All right, I am back 
and what? I still can't. I have the mod pack enabled, right? Yep, yeah, there it is, the mod pack. Um, but for some reason, I still can't spawn it in. So it must use something other than the mod pack, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to move on then. Uh, let's move on to the suspension catapult by it's not a manual 13. Please let me spawn it to the ground. Yes, good. All right, so, oh, there's an explosion on it too. Okay, uh, we have to weld this thing to the ground first. All right, so first we gotta press the switch. Oh no, this is terrifying. Oh, this is so terrifying. Look at all of those pistons. Oh, then press button. Oh, then the button opens up after you press the switch. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh my goodness, it actually works. That's kind of amazing. That is epic. All right, I gotta do that again. Oh, you know, if I don't have this thing welded to the ground, this thing's gonna take off. You ready? <laughs> there it goes. All right, hold on. All right, let's try it again for real though. All right, so we press the switch. It applies the tension. And then we press the button and it just releases all the tension and sends that explosive flying. It's surprisingly consistent too. That's awesome. I am so happy that the creation like that has made it from Trailmakers into Scrap Mechanic and it actually works. Okay, up next we have the Strand Beast Framework by Matt Soup. This was made for Scrap Man, couldn't do it in Trailmakers, kept trying to destroy itself, so made it in Scrap Mechanic. Good luck on Trailmakers though. It's for demonstration and reference. Some mistakes were made. Don't want to go through the whole build process again, but you can see it working at least. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Uh, I got to get into the seat. This is so tall. All right, there's the seat. All right, I guess uh, let's press forward. All right, so this is just a framework. So now that looks really cool. You kind of uh, talked it down a little bit. This looks really nice. All right, but let's test it out. Oh boy, stop, please stop. There we go. Let's take away the support beams. Let's see how it does if it's not being held up. All right, there we go. Now it is, oh, it's on its feet. Okay, here we go. You think it's gonna stay up? It's, I don't think the, I don't think the wheelbase or the leg base is wide enough. It's gonna tip over. Whoa, whoa, we took steps. We took steps. Oh, the right front right leg couldn't quite get through. But hey, I can definitely see that the, the foundation is there. The foundation is definitely there. Okay, now apparently there's another one that is a little bit more fleshed out. The Strand Beast, no mods. This is a, how many legs? This is six different segments by Stivey here. A semi-working Strand Beast, still not even full working. Not a true Strand Beast because it's powered by controllers instead of wind. Okay, yeah, but still, it's it's we don't have wind in Scrap Mechanic, okay? But it does use the Strand Beast leg arrangement. It can only walk forward and it has no steering. Most Strand Beasts don't actually have steering anyway, so. It is inspired by the one that I made in Trailmakers, warning it's very laggy. So let's, let's well, let's test that. Let's see how laggy it is for me. All right. Uh, oh boy. Okay. All right. You weren't lying. You were not lying. It said put the physics down to seven. There we go. I'm surprised it's still going to work at seven, to be honest. Um, okay. Let's see how it goes. Press the button. There we go. Look at that. This actually looks great. Yeah. Uh, I'll just hop off so I can watch it from a distance. Oh, this is fast too. This is faster than my walking speed but my running speed can keep up with it. Oh, look at the bounce. It's kind of like bouncing a little bit, almost like it's jogging. Really well done on this. Yeah, look at all of those free bearings. So now you could make this go backwards. Instead of hooking all of these controllers up into a switch, if you just hook them all directly up into a driver's seat, that's a passenger seat. But if you hook them up into a driver's seat, you can go forwards and backwards just by pressing W and S. So yeah, oh, this is kind of a cool view, isn't it? All right, well, there it goes. Riding off into the sunset. Even though the sun's not setting, it's just kind of staying perpetually in the sky. The sun never stats in scrap mechanic. Well, I guess unless you're in survival mode. Then it kind of slowly transitions from daytime to nighttime without the sun ever moving. I don't know why I'm going into these details. So out of all these creations, which one of them made you feel the most like you were in trail makers and not actually scrap mechanic? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you haven't seen the previous one, you can definitely check that out right here on the end screen. Um, or you can check out some other stuff as well on the channel that you probably enjoy too if you enjoyed this one. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.